Hello, welcome to another Mad Hatter review. First day of Hanukkah, okay? Happy Hanukkah to, to, to me and then to everybody else out there that celebrates, okay? Uh, December 18th. I was hoping to maybe do some kind of like eight crazy nights of reviews. Uh, it's just a little busy. I don't think I can keep up that schedule. But I'm going to do this first one right here because we're taking a look at, oh my God, I can't believe I have this in my hand. This uh, NECA TMNT Loot Crate. The final, well, for me, and, well, is it the final for everybody? I, I don't even know. I'm so mixed up now at this point. For me, it's the final loot crate, okay? The Armagon loot crate. Completely out of order, by the way, all right? <laughs> this was supposed to be loot crate number two. Uh, Danny number one. I think Armagon number two. I think the Dark Turtle three. And then uh, Scrag and, uh, uh, did I mess that up? I don't know. I think Scrag was the last one. But this is the last one to show up. And, uh, and now I'm done. Loot Crate and, and I, we can go our separate ways. We don't have to talk to each other again, okay? I, it's like a breakup and I gave him back his records and then you give me back my video games and then that's it. You, well, let's go see other people. So that's it. After this, hopefully, hopefully, no more Loot Crate. I don't see the value in Loot Crate anymore, okay? Just NECA has their own fan base. They can release their stuff. If they want to release exclusives, there's plenty of other shitty ways to do it, like AutoZone and all that. So I don't know if you need Loot Crate. But let's go ahead now. Without further ado, let's open this thing up. And uh, let's see what we have in the magic box. The final, final Loot Crate box on this first day of Hanukkah right here. Okay, and uh, I already broke the tape. I don't know what's in here, by the way, uh, for the most part. So, oh man, this is pretty damn cool. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> The first thing, whoa! All right, I'm excited now. Uh, the first thing you get is a leatherhead, leatherhead pin, uh, a video game leatherhead pin. Uh, if you know or you don't know, I'm not really a pin collector, but uh, I've been putting this on like my crank beanie, all the pins. So uh, this will be a fine addition. And I love me some leatherhead, okay? Leatherhead skit coming up, by the way, in a review. So you got this right here. It's pretty cool. And then you got, <laughs> wow, okay. Ninja Turtle socks. Oh, man, these are pretty awesome. I can be excited about this. I can still hate Loot Crate's guts, but still like some of their shit. They are uh, fashioned based on the uh, the video game avatars from the uh, old TMNT arcade game. Really, really cool socks, okay? These are going to be my special socks. I, I don't know what that means. So you get socks over there. Then you get... What is this? It's a Krang something. It's in a bag. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is like a Krang stress ball. What an appropriate gift after all the stress Loot Crate has caused to give us this Krang stress ball that you can just squeeze the shit out of uh, when you get annoyed hearing the name uh, Loot Crate. So very appropriate, but this is cool. This actually works as its own kind of action figure. Or not figure, but like, it's almost like, I mean, you could put this on a shelf. Very, very cool. Uh, this uh, uh, little Krang right there. What else? Oh, my God. Look at these goodies. Okay. Oh, wow. Turtles in Time, Toka and Razor glass set. Uh, shot glasses, it looks like. Let's go ahead. Let's open this up. It's got this uh, styrofoam on there. Toka and Razor. Oh, wow. It's really cool. So, yeah. Toka and Razor. Uh, uh, Turtles in Time. Uh, uh, yeah, it's got some, some futz on there, but, uh, Turtles in Time, and then, uh, you get the little, uh, uh, Razor video game image right there, and then you get, uh, this right here, uh, the, uh, the Toka on the, uh, on the back, and then you get this, uh, let me put this right here, you get this in the box, and then you get this glass set, that's pretty cool, okay, so this is more Loot Crate saying, well, you get the stress ball to relieve your stress, and then, you get the glasses to drink some alcohol and drown out the memory of Loot Crate. So that's pretty damn cool. I like that giveaway. Uh, and this one I knew about, but it's still fucking tight, is uh, this shirt. This shirt is pretty damn awesome, okay? This uh, video game shirt, you got the turtles and Shredder in the middle, buffed up Shredder from uh, 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 the video game here. And then you got the sprites and the all the stuff in the back. Did they get the size right? Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, they got it right. There you go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah for that. Um, 
kind of a, a, a bittersweet thing about this. You may know or you may not know, but international people have been fucked royally with this loot crate because they're not getting this shirt. I don't know why. They, they uh, Loot Crate apparently from a bunch of people that uh, talked to me said that they have not gotten this shirt. They were not sending this shirt in the international bundles. The fuck kind of shit is that? How much does a, wait, is that a weight thing? How much does this shirt weigh? It's a shirt. So it, this, it, this is just the, uh, the, the messy, messy uh, uh, situation that just keeps getting messier. And like, just what is that? Like just the final fuck you to not give international people Loot Crate. Do the right thing and, and, and send these out separately to international people. What is the reason? What is the reason this can't? I mean, is this made out of like some kind of like drug and you can't get it overseas? I don't get it. So uh, it is a, it is bittersweet. This is an awesome shirt. <clears throat> this is the kind of I, I hate to say it, but this is the kind of shirt that if I didn't get, I'd probably be paying for uh, at some point because it's just I mean, if you love the Ninja Turtle video games and tournament fighters and all that. You're going to want this shirt. I will definitely be wearing it uh, with these socks and then drinking out of there, uh, those, those those glasses, and squeezing that uh, stress ball. But uh, to, the, uh, to the main course right here, to the, let's face it, the reason everybody gets these loot crates are the action figures. And here we go, Mr. Armagon. He is bigger than I thought he would be, okay? Uh, what does it say? No Street Fighters ever seen fighters or fighting like this. It's in its own tournament fighter box this is the first time i've seen a tournament fighter box. well this is the first tournament fighter so ap appropriate god i really hope they make some of the other tournament fighters like rat king and just in that style because uh that's just such a cool art style i know that uh neca is a little lukewarm on the video game property maybe it doesn't sell as well but i love it i don't know i i most of my memories of ninja turtles not most of them but a lot of my memories of ninja turtles are playing video games based around Ninja Turtles, like the Game Boy game, Rise of the Foot, and the TMNT arcade game, and Turtles in Time. So Tournament Fighters is a big part of that. So you get the side of the box right here, and then you get the uh, other side right there, and then you get the back, and you get all the pictures of uh, Armagon in all his different poses. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack them open, and uh, let's just see what this Tournament Fighters got in store for us. And uh, yeah, that's the last... Hopefully the last loot crate box that I ever open. And uh, <laughs> because I'm so done with that frustration. I ordered that thing when I was like, I don't know, 23. And now here we go. So that's it. I will see you there. All right, Mr. Armagon. Before we get into this, I do want to show this backdrop. I thought this was so cool. Just the level backdrop with this big, I don't know, squid, kraken, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's brand new. I've not seen this on... Uh, any other figures before and it is appropriate because we're dealing with a tournament fighter here and um i gotta say i'm gonna be very sad if this is the last one uh they really should make there's not that many characters in the game i mean including the ninja turtles uh they should make all of them because this is so cool i know there's a lot of people right off the uh, bat well let's just dive in um that uh they don't love the pixelation i like it I, I'm, I'm a fan of the picture. It's a video game. It's a video game action figure. And uh, to me, it should look like a video game. It should have... Uh, um, I know it's, it's, it's uh, a little too stylized for some people. And you know what? I, actually, I think I've seen some people already uh, repaint this guy um, just to kind of like have kind of just a normal shades, uh, sans pixelation. But... To me, the video game holds a place in my heart, and the pixelation comes with that. So I have, uh, I've never been against it. I've always been for it, and I just really like this character. And he's just I, look, he's a he's a human shark. Okay, it, th there's not <laughs> there's not much to hate on a on a half man half shark. I wish I had my uh, king shark, my McFarland king shark, handy because I'd love to compare him uh, to uh, him, but uh, I don't. But I do have this guy right here uh, in terms of just size comparison, uh, just the uh, Leonardo. And I like, uh, I just like the size uh, difference on this guy. This guy's big. He's towering. It's probably one of the bigger, if not the biggest, um, video game uh, figure. Uh, he might even be bigger than Bebop and Rocksteady, which I also have put away. In terms of 
just the paint on this guy, like I said, uh, he's got the pixelation, but if you take away the pixelation, even besides that, he does have really nice paint. He has a different grays on there. He's got the light grays, the dark grays, the, uh, um, the, uh, the, the really dark grays right there. Same thing with the, just like his armor, just the yellow and the dark yellow and the paint applications are really, really cool. Even on the teeth, I know sometimes it's easy to get teeth wrong, but um, I see, I'm not seeing any splotchy paint there, which I like, okay? And you can uh, open and close, well, we'll get into articulation, but uh, I don't know, I'm not seeing anything that, uh, that I don't like right here. And uh, just the back right here, the pixelation kind of dies when it uh, gets to the tail, but uh, everything here is painted really, really nice. And just the sculpt, is so cool. I love this. Uh, I, I've always loved just the look of this character and just the, I don't know what you call this, these <laughs> these armaments, these weapons that he has just on his back. And it's just like kind of like one piece with the fin and uh, this, uh, I guess, harness that he has. And he's just ready to fight. He's just ready to go. And then you have the fins right here. I would have loved, I think, some paint on the, the fins, other than just like the gray on there, like maybe a little pixelation or just, they, they look a little plain, um, kind of like the tail when, uh, I mean, the underside of the tail has the pixelation, but this right here, I think they should have added just a little something. Let's get into articulation. So you got his jaw, take a look right here, closes, opens. I mean, it's a shark figure. If you get a shark figure and his jaw does not open and close, what are you even doing? Do you even know how to shark, bro? It's the first piece of articulation. In terms of the head, you're going to get nothing because this is all one big giant piece right here. This is like, this is just, I mean, th th there's like nothing. There's zero. Uh, it it's just, I don't know whether it's just because, well, it's not that I don't know. It's part of the design is that this thing is just like one piece. I mean, I guess they could have made it so that this part broke off from the, uh, from the gun piece. But uh, yeah, he can't look up and he can't look down. Which is kind of a bummer because he's so big, he's going to be fighting turtles and, you know, one of them might be jumping in the air. You might want him looking up, although I guess you can kind of do like an ab cheat. But, uh, yeah, so this is not moving anywhere. In terms of the biceps, um, they move up about this much. I don't want to push it too much because these straps right here, I don't know, they feel like they might be a little delicate. So I'm not going crazy with the articulation. Uh, they, they hinder things a little bit because this is... This is dependent on the arms being a certain way. Uh, then you do have a bicep swivel, but again, it's like not going to go too much. He does have like really long arms, and they do have like a double hinge in there, but they are impeded by these uh, pieces right here. So you can go about that much, which I don't know. It's pretty considerable, I think. And then uh, you get the rock. You get a little bit of a rock right here. He can go forward about that much. He can go backwards about that much. Like I said, you can kind of like lean him back if you want. Um, into, oh, actually before that, in terms of a waist, you do get, uh, well, it's not a waist swivel, but the chest uh, swivel piece right here. Thighs go that much. You do get a double joint in the leg um, or in the knee. It is impeded by uh, this thing right here. No, uh, no, uh, um, well, yeah, you can't have a boot cut because there's no boot right here, but you do get a rock right here and then, then, you get a ballerina. He actually ba ballerinas really well. You get about that much and then up that much. And then in terms of the tail, standard like ball joint on, uh, on the tail. And then in terms of accessories, no real accessories, but multiple hands. So you can get these like uh, grabby hands right here, or I'm going to get your hands. And then uh, you get, this looks like he wants to grab a weapon, but there's no weapon. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with that. You get this hand, which looks like a gun hand, but again, no gun. So uh, maybe they go with something else. I have no idea. But uh, just look how cool he is in this fighting stance. I mean, this is the way I'm going to display uh, my Armagon, and uh, he's a dope figure. Would have been happy to get him way back when, uh, but uh, now that I have him in my hand, I am very uh, excited uh, for this figure, and I would love... I mean, NECA, you got to make all the tournament fighters, okay? I mean, they would just look so cool. Just imagine this guy. It, it, it'll be, it'll look like a character selection screen, just with all of them together like that, and that big juiced-up Rat King. <laughs> he is all on steroids in that game. Uh, so 
I don't know. I, I'm really hoping that they do right by the tournament fighters. And um, and th it's an opportunity to get another set of Ninja Turtles. Okay, you could do the tournament fighter turtles. Turtles always sell well. So, uh, I, mean, I mean, the actual brothers sell well. So, uh, they should really uh, complete this and hopefully, but not with Loot Crate, just on your own. But uh, that's it. That's all I got. Mr. Armagon, uh, review in the bag. Loot Crate, final Loot Crate, done. Dunsky, we're done, Loot Crate. And uh, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, Armagon action figure, tournament fighters, Ninja Turtles. I kind of feel like I want to play it now. That's all I got. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like. Armagon in the house, Loot Crate out of the house. And uh, that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.